Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting Princesses. To start off this Ninja Turtle costume tutorial, I'm going to be cutting out the shell pieces for the front of the dress. I created my own templates here. I just did a square with rounded edges and then that um, additional template right here. It's rounded or curved on the outer edge and I made sure that they were the same width as far as size. I'm using a yellow glitter craft foam sheet that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm flipping the sheet over and then I will trace out my pieces on the back. You will need two of the square pieces here and four of the rounded or the um, curved square piece that's off to the right. So right here I'm just tracing my pieces on the back. Now when you are tracing out the curved template, which is the one that you need four of, you wanna trace two of them one direction and then flip it over and trace the other two in the opposite direction. As I was filming this, I actually ended up tracing them all the same way, so off camera I had to cut out two more in the opposite direction. So as I'm showing you here, Make two of them this way, flip it, and cut out two more. When I'm cutting my pieces, I do cut just inside my traced line so that, um, in this case, I used a green Sharpie, and I wanna make sure that I don't have any green on the edges of my sheet so that when it's put on the dress, you don't see any of that. So I cut just inside the line. And as you see there, um, see how I had traced all of those four pieces in the same direction? Again, make sure that two of those are the opposite direction. So I have all of my pieces laid out here and I just wanted to show you how it will look when we put it on the dress. Um, so right here, this is where I'm showing you that you had to cut it in the opposite direction so that you have two of them facing one way and two facing the other way. And that is what the end result will look like once we put that on the dress. The next piece that I'm going to create here is going to be just a circle for the belt where I will put Donatello's letter on it. I'm just using a compass to figure out how big I want my circle to be. There really is no right or wrong way to do this. I would recommend a circle anywhere between two to three inches in diameter. So I'm just using a compass so that I have a perfect circle. So I have my circle template cut out already and I'm just using a stencil that I have here for the letter D. You can print one out or you can freehand your own. I'm just using a stencil that I already have. Now this stencil is too large for the circle that I'm using. So after I cut this out, I'm going to trim it down on all of the edges until it fits inside that circle. I quickly want to show you guys how I trim down my letter. So as you can see here, it's larger than the circle. So what I do is I fold it in half to make sure that I have it even when I'm cutting on all of my edges. So as you can see here, I'm just folding one of those pieces in half and then trimming along the edge to make it smaller. And then I will do the same with my other piece. Now if you're using the letter D that is attached, you won't have to take as many steps, um, but I just like the shape of this one, so this was my personal preference and choice, but you guys can do this however you want. You can even use rhinestones to make the letter if you wanna do that. For my circle, I'm using a black glitter canvas sheet from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just tracing that out to cut. And then for my letter D up there, I will be using purple felt for that. So I'm gonna put that to the side and then show you here. I'm just using a plain dark purple felt. I will trace this and cut this out as well. This is what it will look like and you just wanna hot glue that down and then put that off to the side. In addition to this, you'll wanna cut out another circle with um, either purple or black felt, it doesn't matter. You will also want to cut out additional pieces for the shells with felt as well. Now I've already done a previous tutorial on how to do the petticoat here, so if you want to see that, I will leave a link in the description box below. And I have already put my solid yellow felt pieces on the inside of my crochet tutu top here, and I will then glue the glitter pieces on top of that. If you need to reference how I 
put the felt pieces on the inside. All of my other tutorials, such as Olaf, um, Sky from Paw Patrol, all of those I show just how I put it on the inside. Now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and on each of those felt pieces, I'm going to glue around the edges, making sure to get in between all of the holes. And then I will take the coordinating glitter shell piece and glue that down on top. Once you have that pressed down and secured to your top, you want to make sure to go around the edges and glue those down as well so that none of them are lifting up on the sides. And then you'll do the same with all of the rest of your shell pieces. I apologize if the color keeps changing on the screen. Um, certain colors that I film with my camera, it will like change from a bluish tone to a yellowish tone. So sorry about that. But here are all of the shell pieces attached. And next I'm going to be adding my straps. Um, also, if you look at the shell pieces there, I just left about like a centimeter or two of space in between each piece. For the straps, I'm using a 7 8 inch purple grain ribbon in a darker purple color. And I've inserted one end of that strap through one of the crochet holes and then glue that to secure it. I have both of my straps attached and I have already cut the ends on an angle and heat sealed those. And I'm just going to be tying these in a bow in the back. So you can either do a halter top here or you can do the adjustable strap option like I'm doing here, which will provide shoulder straps that are adjustable. I'm folding my ribbon just to make it easier to get through the holes and I'm going in one hole and out of the hole next to it. So it's left to right, not top to bottom. Pull that through. Do the same thing with the other strap, making sure that you're using the same row of holes that you did on the other side so that they're even on both sides. and then pull that strap through and tie as a bow in the back. I love doing these adjustable straps as well because it adds a cute little bow to the back of the dress and just adds a little something extra, make it cute and girly. The next piece I'm going to add is the sash and I'm using two yards of a one and a half inch purple satin ribbon for this. So I'm going to fold this in half to find my center and in the center of that sash is where I will glue down the circle. So I'm putting the plain purple felt piece behind the ribbon, so on the wrong side of the ribbon. Make sure to glue down even underneath and then glue down the black circle right on top of that. I'm going to be adding one more detail to the dress because you know it wouldn't be me if I didn't. So I made two little purple bows using the same 7 8 inch purple ribbon that I used for the straps. Made two little cheer bows and then added some rhinestone mesh to the center. I'm going to glue these down to the front of the straps. So just using my hot glue gun, gluing down in the middle of that bow, and press down on the front of the strap. And it just makes it not so plain up on top. Here is the final look. It is all done. I love it. It's cute. It's easy to do and makes a huge statement. Um, now I kind of want to go and do all the rest of the Ninja Turtles, but who has time for all that? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, remember that you can just replace all of these colors with any of the other colors of the turtles. So you can do the blue, the orange, or the red. I hope it was easy to follow for you guys. If you have any suggestions or want to request any certain type of videos, please make sure to leave a comment below and I will do my best to make that happen. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more. Catch you all next time.